all right so in this video lecture of salesforce bytes we'll talk about dependent pick lists and how can you configure them so there could be requirements wherein you would have several pick list values and you would want to set the pick list value of one field based on another pick list value right so there could be a requirement or a scenario or a use case wherein the value of a pick list field will be driven or dependent on another pick list value right in such cases you can use a concept that's called dependent pick list now how do we configure that let's see so before going into the configuration let's understand the use case so i'll go to the contacts object and let's try to create a new record so for example let's assume that the lead source field is our primary field based on which we want to decide what kind of levels can be uh, what kind of level options should be available right so for example let's say if the lead source is web the levels available should only be tertiary and secondary right if the lead source is purchased list the levels available should only be primary right such kind of dependencies or you know dependency of one pick list on another can be configured and set by dependent pick list now let's try to configure it so what we'll do is we'll go to setup and under object manager we'll go to the contact object the current object in concern and under contact contact object when we go to fields and relationships we'll notice a section that says field dependencies here right so we'll click on field dependencies and it says that this page allows you to define dependencies between fields right and since there are no dependencies right now let's go ahead and create a new one so when i click on new i get an option to choose the controlling field and the dependent field right so in our example or our use case our controlling field is the lead source field this field right here right let's go ahead and set the controlling field as the lead source field and our dependent field is the level field right once we have set the controlling and the dependent fields we can click on continue and as soon as we click on continue we get an option to include values of the dependent pick list based on the primary pick list values right so if you notice lead source is here which is given on a grid and each values are present for the lead source and the level values are available here so what we can do is based on our requirement we can set and select these values so for example let's say for lead source web we want only secondary and primary to be included we can just say include values similarly let's say for example for phone inquiry only tertiary value should be there we can say include values similarly i'll just do this for all the other steps right so i've set the values for all the five pick list values on the lead source and based on my configuration for web these two values should be available for phone inquiry this tertiary value partner referral only secondary value should be available and so on and so forth once i am comfortable with my values and setting up my use case i can click on save right now as soon as i click on save my dependency has been set and now if i go to field dependencies i'll see one dependency uh, field structure set up here that's lead source and the level field is dependent on the lead source now let's go ahead and refresh our contact page and try to create a new record now and let's see how things look like so if i go ahead and click on new and if you notice under the lead source field you see something that's called view all dependencies and down below you have the level field that's not clickable right now which was editable a while ago but now it's not clickable because based on the value you select on the lead source you'll be given values here so for example if i go ahead and select purchase list you see this becomes editable and you can see that only tertiary and primary are, are available right if i go ahead and change this value to phone inquiry my values on the level changes and i only get tertiary so this just does not need any rendering or re-rendering or refreshing of the page and it, it it is it is available on the standard page layout so that's how you can configure a dependent pick list right things to note custom pick list can only be dependent pick list they cannot be uh, uh, controlling fields and uh, a checkbox or a pick list can be a controlling field which means you can also have a checkbox as your uh, controlling field when you create field dependencies not just pick lists all right that's all from this lecture thank you